Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our abstract thesis series where we are digging deep into the concept to learn how things work in Power BI. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications for the new videos. So in this video, what we are going to do, we are going to look uh, what is the setup required for Python. And while doing this setup, because I'm using Anaconda, I face a lot of challenges and that is good uh, somehow because I will be able to tell you what all challenges you are going to face. So first of all, what thing you need to do is you need to do one setup out here. So you have to actually go ahead and do uh, in the options and setting, you have to provide the settings out here. So the settings for this one, for Python settings, you can actually get easily on the um, uh, Microsoft site. So, uh, you know, detect the Python directory. So this should be the directory where your Python exe is there. In my case, it is program data dot Anaconda. And it, uh, if you get a link, sometime it is there in the users uh, folder. So just find out where it is. So based on that, actually you have to go ahead and give this and also make sure that you give it as, as a path in your windows uh, variables. Uh, so environment variable, make sure you search for the path environment variable, and then you give this path also there. So both things are necessary. Now, uh, I, in, I was actually using um, uh, some other ID. So if you have using Visual Studio, those settings are given on the uh, Microsoft site. I will give the link into the description where you can get it. Uh, I was actually using uh, this one, uh, the spider. So this was the uh, ID link for that. So I have given that. Now, this setup is done and I have given the path variable. I have defi defined that into Windows environment and I went ahead and I, then I tried to add. So now that when I tried to add, I followed this link. So basically in this link, uh, uh, if you have these things, so you have to do PIP install and all those. And then these are the settings. If you have Python, I have Anaconda. So I have different settings that I followed there. And then you have this kind of a code, which actually you go ahead and give there. So you can test it. So I went ahead and here what I've done is, so I say get data more than once it is open, I'll search for Python, Python, and in the Python, I go ahead and give my script. And when I pressed OK, actually I start um, facing an error for MQL service. And what I've done after that is I went to my Anaconda prompt and I installed too many things. So I, what I've done is I, you know, I done a lot of install like conda uninstall this uh, install this i install matplotlib i installed uh, pillows i installed uninstall upgrade everything i've done okay and this is the library which you will find online i'll give you the link to install the mkl service also but still i come back and i still keep on facing the same issue and i thought i need to close and open my power bi after that i've done all of that but finally i got an article again i'm going to give you a link and what I found out that this Conda install is not going to work. So I need to do PIP install. So what this is what I have done. I have actually forced reinstalled using the PIP install LumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib. All three and then PIP install with this one. MKL uh, service. Fine. So this I think uh, the, the command is available. You just use the command from the link. These are the links which are there. I'm also going to go with that. And also make sure you in, in, uh, activate the Conda environment by saying Conda activate. So now I've done with all these things. Before that, you might have to upgrade your Python by uh, or uh, Python environment by saying upgrade all. All those stuff, make sure that you are on the latest version. So I am on the latest whatever I've installed on 3.7 and it is working on that. So after that, I came back and you don't need to, you know, close your Power BI or, you know, switch it off once the complete libraries are there. And if everything is fine, if you press OK and what happens, some of these library, when you uninstall and install pandas will go away. So you have to install pandas again. So just make sure that pandas is getting installed. Otherwise, you'll get an error for pandas. Uh, so you can actually go ahead and install and this will give you data out here. So it will load the data first time. It's going to take a bit of the time because from memory is going to uh, load the libraries for the Python. So first time is going to take a little bit of time, but once you do that, then this is just like, you know, any other data which you have with you. So you can load uh, this one. Okay. So once it is loaded, now this is available for creating a visual. So I can go ahead and create a table visual. 
so i'll go ahead and it put name out here and age out here okay now what is the advantage of getting from python so python actually you can uh, go ahead and do some kind of a transformation you can do certain things if uh, that data transformation is not possible in power bi if you are getting into the python do the data transformation on your uh, uh, pandas data frame uh, data set and then you can actually go ahead and uh, you know import it out here so what i also need to do is how do i import excel or csv file maybe because i'm not going to put like data into a data frame just like i've done there so uh, i need to uh, load that data also so what i've done before i do that i went to uh, um, the uh, jupyter notebook which i had and there i tried out this code so i i wanted to make sure that i have the correct code which i can use so what i've done is i have this code which is working and which is printing this sales table this is the same file i'm using uh, for my other videos and this uh, series also so you can get it from the um, github and use it and so let's go ahead and uh, take this so now what we are going to do we are again going to press more out icon out here now again we will search for python it's there in others so we can search it and then again we'll go to now so this time we will give this script so we import uh, pandas as pd sales pd dot read excel the read excel is there available and then in the read excel i have this and please remember if i have tested it out if you don't give the uh, excel sheet name it is going to take the first sheet and i have four sheets so i wanted a sales sheet to come out i can actually go ahead and change the names and load others also and establish relationship just like we do and then uh, i say print sales and i say okay so let us wait um, for a couple of minutes let uh, python loads it so this has some amount of data so it may take um, a half a minute to load that data so um, but i think it's quick it has quickly loaded it so let me open it again it's taking some time so now it it has given me the sales table i can click here and uh, do this thing so i uh, you remember the data frame name was sales and that that's why we called it sales so please uh, you have to remember see the name which you are giving is going to come as the table name so please uh, be careful while giving the name if you are uh, using this script again and again please keep on changing that name and whatever name you are using the same name you have to print also otherwise you will face python error so go ahead and try this thing out let me load it and so go ahead and try this out uh, and let us know if you face any challenges uh, ping us those challenges or uh, write down those challenges in the comments we'll try to find out if there is some solution for that I'll, or i'll try it out now the next thing which comes that how can we create visuals using python so there are certain time what happens you ask for a complex visual and one of the suggestion we give okay go ahead and try it out in python so how can i create a visuals using python and how can we pass the parameter filters to the python uh, visuals so that is the topic for the next video so keep asking keep watching keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you